Okay, we're working with Blender 2.78a, and we're doing some video editing, and today we're going to work with uh, proxy clips and caching video, something I probably should have done in an earlier video. What this is going to do is going to help you if your uh, project runs slow, Blender runs slow while you're trying to edit videos, uh, either because your computer isn't fast enough, um, or your project, your, your videos are just huge. Um, there are some things you can do, mainly two things you can do. So let's go ahead and go here and go to video editing. Um, and I'm going to say add movie. I'm going to uncheck sound, go to my videos, be the box select, choose those and add. Um, and then up here in our little preview screen, if you hover over that with your mouse cursor and hit home on your keyboard, it will zoom in to fit the screen or you can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. Um, but you can see I have three video clips here. They go a little bit longer than our project. I'm going to change my project length to 350 frames, which is about the length of those three clips. I'm going to hit Alt-A to play. And you'll notice up in the top left of our little preview window here, it says FPS frames per second. It's in red and it's saying somewhere between 17 and 19 frames a second. Well, this is 30 frames a second video. The reason it's red is because it's, it's going slow. Right now it's caching the video. Once it hits the end and starts looping around again, you'll see it will start playing at the 30 frames a second. Great, we're playing at 30 frames a second, but there is a problem. The first two clips play fine, but once we get a little bit into the third clip, all of a sudden, boop, it drops back down to that 17, 18 frames a second. The reason for that is it's caching the video when you play it, meaning that it's taking the video clips and it's putting it in RAM so it doesn't have to pull it off the hard drive so it can play it faster. But by default, there's only so much RAM set aside for that, but we can change that. I can go up to File, User Preferences, go over to System, and scroll down, and right here under sequence, Sequencer Clip Editor, you can see Memory Cache Limit is set to about one gig. Um, I have eight gigs on my computer, as well as some swap space. Uh, I'm gonna set this to two gigs for this project, because it's a short project. But now that we did that, we can go ahead and let it play through. Again, it should play slow when it gets here because it needs to cache it, but once it caches it, it should play fine. Problem with that is, one, if you don't, if you have less RAM, uh, you can only cache so much. Like if you only have four gigs of RAM, you can't cache eight gigs of it, and you have to remember that your system is using some of that RAM, so you can't just overload. You can only use so much of your RAM. Um, but you'll, you'll see now that it's playing 30 frames a second all the way through for these short clips. So what's another option uh, we can do? Uh, well, we can do um, what are called proxy clips. If you watch my series on Caden Live video editing, you know what proxy clips are. But basically, uh, proxy clips are copies of your video that are smaller. So when you're editing and previewing it, uh, it's using uh, smaller lower resolution video so it plays smoother, but then when you go to render it, you render out the full video so you don't lose any quality. Blender makes it really great to make proxy clips of multiple different sizes if you like, and you can switch back and forth between them very quickly. But let's go ahead and uh, real quick, just to make sure I clear out my cache here, I'm gonna hit new project. Uh, then I'm gonna go to user system preferences again. And again, it defaults back unless you save your settings. Uh, when you start a new project, it's going to default back to one gig. I'm going to say it's 500 megabytes, so a half a gig. Uh, just to show you what uh, happens here, if you only have uh, a half a gig of RAM to spare. So before, originally, when I added in these uh, video clips, uh, the first two would cache fine. Uh, and then the third one would start to get bogged down. And let's reset this. So now that I only have um, a half a gig of RAM rather than a gig of RAM, which I was originally using, it's only going to be able to do about half these video clips of caching. I just want to show you the difference uh, working with different amount of cache. And again, you're limited on how much cache you have. But you're only limited as far as caching when it comes to your RAM. Uh, if you only have, I mean, you, you go to, to Walmart or wherever you buy a cheap computer, most of them are going to have, you can see, even though it, it already went through the video once, it didn't even make it halfway through before it started dropping down the frame rate. But that's where proxy clips come in because for the most part, even if you have only four gigs of RAM, it's still plenty of RAM if you use proxy clips. So again, it's gonna start dropping down here. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and stop that. And I'm going to scroll down. I have my video clip selected here down to proxy clips. And I'm going to leave it at per clip. You can create a custom directory uh, on where to put it. Otherwise, it puts it in a subdirectory of where you are. And then you can choose 25, 50, 75. You can choose different variations of this. For this video, I'm just going to do the 25. 
Uh, I am going to then come down here to set selected clip, uh, uh, sorry, set selected strip proxies, and I'm going to choose 25, and I'm going to choose override because uh, I've actually already tested these videos, so there's actually already a proxy folder in my project folder uh, where my videos are, so it's, when we recreate them, I'm going to say overwrite so that you can see how it creates them, because I want you to see that, and at this point, I can say rebuild, and right here, you'll see a process bar that says building proxies, one, and it'll go through for me three times because I have three different clips. Great, it just made three copies of this video at 25% the resolution. I can hit Alt A and you'll and it will have to cache them again, but you'll notice something as it goes all the way through here, we're gonna have the same problem we were having before. This is important. Uh, when I first started using proxy clips a long time ago back in Blender, I didn't realize I'm like, I'm creating these proxy clips, but it doesn't seem to be using them because it's not at this point. You'll see here 30 frames a second going because it's been cached, and then right about here, it drops back down to 17. Because we've created the proxy clips, but we're not using them yet. Come up here, hover over your preview window, and hit N, and it brings out your little uh, options here. And you can see here, if I pull this out a little bit more, proxy render. And you see it says screen render or scene render size. That's not what we want. We want to set it to the 25% we created. Now you'll notice the, the video looks a lot more pixelated because we're using the, the smaller video. Um, but you can see I just hit Alt A and it's playing it fine. It hasn't even cached it and it's playing it fine. If your computer's slower, it might still need to cache some of it, but it can cache longer stretches of video since they're smaller files. But I didn't even have to cache any of this. It was playing at 30 frames a second on my computer. And again, uh, this is great when you're editing, adding effects, fade effects, cutting the clips. You don't necessarily want to have it set to the proxy clip necessarily when you're tweaking colors because you want to see the full resolution. So it's great. You can come back here and go to the no proxy or 100%. So we'll just say uh, scene render size. And you can see uh, that it's, it's back to that size there. Again, it's playing slower because it's trying to cache that all again. And I have it set to only a half a gig of RAM. But for me to uh, pause this video and go in and tweak the colors on it, I, I probably want the full resolution video for that. But after doing that, once I have that set, I can then go back and proxy, proxy it. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, and it will show those effects, but you know when you're getting that, that, that detail, you probably want that. And then when you go to render it, it's gonna render out at full resolution. So that is proxy clips. And so even if you're using a very uh, lightweight computer, creating proxy clips, uh, you can still edit HD video with proxy clips because you edit the small videos but render out with the full resolution, which is great. Uh, as long as you have the hard drive space for your full resolution videos and, and your proxies. But the proxy files are gonna be smaller. And if you're gonna be doing video, you need some sort of uh, storage. You're not gonna be using you know a netbook with uh, Four, four gigs of hard drive space unless you have an external hard drive to hook to it. Anyway, that is setting up your cache. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. I'm recording a lot of videos today. Um, uh, you set up your cache to, again, don't if you have four gigs of RAM or eight gigs of RAM, don't set it to use four gigs or eight gigs of RAM because your computer is going to come to a screeching halt because it's not gonna have any space for the operating system and Blender and any other programs you have running to, to run. Um, but, uh, you know, set up, find what works good for your system, and then use some proxy clips. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. Uh, you can also support me there by going to the support section. You can support me through PayPal or Patreon at patreon.com forward slash melx1000. Uh, and even a little as a dollar a month is much appreciated. If you like these videos, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and I hope that you have a great day.